out that he was having problems with his intestines. And we didn't find out until the end of May. They diagnosed him with necrotizing enteric colitis, um, NEC totalis, um, wow, which left him with what something. they predicted was 2% of uh, viable intestine and said that he wouldn't make it. Oh my so, gosh. Um, yeah, it was pretty rough. And then after that, we started planning essentially his funeral waited a week and he wasn't getting worse he was actually seeming to get better um so we called riley's in a indiana hospital. Uh -huh. yes the children's hospital and they went ahead and took his case wow daniel you're holding your son's hand doctors told you to plan his funeral what's going yeah. through your mind i mean honestly i had started to give up hope at that point but just believed that he wasn't giving up and she wanted to seek out a second opinion with Riley's Children's Hospital in Indianapolis and I told her that you know if he's not giving up we won't give up so we sought the second opinion and they flew him down by helicopter and a few days later rushed him into surgery and told us that they saw a fair amount of viable intestine actually wow and that it would be a couple month treatment of intestinal rest and medication and giving him time to try and catch up and grow and on July 31st, the day after my birthday, they did a resection of his intestines and were able to save 71 centimeters, which was more than enough. We had thought he was coming for a, a transplant, but they were able to save more than enough. And now he doesn't even need a transplant. And honestly, they think in a few short years, he won't even, he won't even be able to recognize that he was one pound six ounces. <laughs> that is incredible. Born. Jessica, what do you give credit? Do you give credit to the doctors? Do you have a strong faith? What's the reason for this? It's a miracle. Uh, it definitely is. I did a lot of praying um, during his whole hospital stay. A lot of soul searching. Um, the doctors at Riley's were amazing. His surgeon, Dr. Ladd, he is a superhero to us. And his gastroenterologist, Dr. Vanderpool, they really did. They performed a miracle with him. And um, I think just not giving up on him, even though babies seem so fragile, they're so, so strong. They really have the capacity to heal better than I could ever imagine. Mm -hmm. Daniel, what are your hopes for your son? I mean, we really just hope to watch him grow and to be a happy, healthy little boy and have the opportunity as parents to be a family mm -hmm. together. That's our hope and hope that he, <coughs> you know, believes the same things we do, that family's important. Well, we have heard some wonderful Christmas messages regarding babies and their lives over the last few days. We appreciate you sharing yours. I know you have uh, exorbitant medical costs, so for folks at home that want to help this amazing family and help Rowan have a bright future, you can go to our website, foxandgrones.com. We have a link there. They're on paypal.me forward slash Rowan Brights, and Brights is B-R-E-Y-T-S. But just go, there it is at the bottom of the screen. Just go to our website, though, and uh, put his name in the search engine, and it should come up. Thank you guys so much. God bless you, hey, and Merry Christmas. You. This is wonderful news. I'd love, to, I, yes, I'd love to give a special thanks to my father, Thomas yeah. Brights. He was diagnosed with stage 4 throat cancer around wow. the same time Rowan was born. Mm -hmm. And today is actually the day that he finishes his radiation treatment. And I love you, Dad. I, I hope the best. Wow. I wish I could be with you more. God Hi, bless you. That's a beautiful message. <laughs> Hi, Granddaddy. Thank you, guys. Well, he has a lot to live for. He's got to watch Rowan grow up. Well, we, uh, so we're much. praying for your family. We'll pray for your son. We'll pray for your dad. Thank you. God bless. We appreciate Thank that. You. You're Thank welcome. You. Counselor to the President.